Hi everyone and welcome back to our last video of the type of construction series video. So if you haven't seen our uh, other type of construction, please take a look for here. We have type 1, 2, 3 and 4 construction. So let's dive into this type of construction. Type 5 construction is actually the least restrictive type of construction. Why is that? Because type 5 is like everything that is allowed by the code. So the material that you can use for construction is any material allowed by the code. And remember, we have type 5A, which is one hour protection for the structural elements, as we have seen in the other videos. And the type 5B, which is the unprotected, and you have no fire resistant rating whatsoever. There is no fire resistant of exterior walls, there's no fire resistant everywhere uh, for a regular type 5B construction. Um, and so this is the most widely used type of construction. Why? Because this is the type of construction that you usually see for single family homes. Um, I used to have a building official who I work with, and he used to say, um, if you want to build your house out of bubblegum, as long as an engineer signs for it and tells me it can be done, you're good to go. So this is uh, the type of construction that allows any material for the construction of, uh, of the house, actually. So um, this is a least restrictive type of construction. Now on commercial buildings, be careful. Why? Because fire department and uh, building department Regardless of the material you're using, you may be using a, a non-combustible material, but, but because your um, building is so small, you want to, or your architect decides to call it type 5 construction, um, pay attention because commercial buildings, they have to qualify for um, the amount of water that the site has to combat a fire in case of a fire. It's a fire there. So if you label that building as a lesser type of construction because the building is small enough, sometimes that type of construction will require more water because they just have to um, assume the worst. And assuming the worst means that everything is highly combustible and that building can burn down. So they have, they require that the water supply for that site is higher than if you use another type of construction. So. Just work with your architect. They, they will be able to guide you on that. But that's it. That's the type 5 construction. Pretty easy. Any type allowed by the code. 5A is when I'm protected. 5B, no protection at all. All right. I hope you enjoy our type of construction series. And please like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next time. Bye.